Hi, I'm Ryan Lau, Product Development Engineer at Saris Industrial, and I'm here to introduce to you our new HVAC Automation Starter, the Energy Management Starter, or EMS for short. Like our BAS starters, the EMS features a multi-tap control power transformer, handoff auto keypad, run and fault LEDs, and the same control terminals, including damper control, smoke purge, shutdown, and both contact and voltage input auto run terminals. Our EMS includes some new features, such as an LCD display screen, as well as fault and status output terminals. Our advanced overload has a current sensing range from 1 amp to 95 amps and provides up to class 60 electronic overload protection. Additional options include power metering with pulse and analog output, backnet communications, over and under voltage protection, ground fault protection, and your choice of 24 or 120 volt damper control. This starter shown here is identical to the sample you've received and is configured for a single phase 120 volt power source. The fan connected to your sample starter does not draw enough measurable current. So for demonstration purposes, we have wrapped the output wires of the starter to simulate a current draw of somewhere between 1.3 to 1.4 amps. Wrapping will not be necessary when using the EMS starter in an HVAC application. The EMS starter will come pre-configured to protect your motor based on the schedule given when ordering. However, if you need to make an adjustment to the overload setting, it's easy using the keypad. For safety, the EMS ships with all settings locked. To make an adjustment to the overload FLA setting, the starter must be in the off mode and the lockout feature must be disabled. To do so, press and hold the up and down keys for two seconds. Press the enter key once to change the screen from locked to unlocked. Now press the escape key to return to the default display screen. To make an adjustment to the overload FLA setting, press the down key once to view the edit FLA screen. Press enter, then using the up and down keys, you may now adjust the overload FLA setting. Press enter once more to save the adjustment made. Press escape to return to the default display screen. The keypad will automatically lock all settings after two minutes. The EMS starter comes standard with metering capabilities such as voltage, current, and power metering, all viewable from the display screen. From the default screen, press the down key twice. Press enter once, and from here, you can cycle through the metering, status, and fault history of the EMS starter. You may press enter once again to enter these categories and view the data. As you can see here, only phases A and C current are displayed. This is because this is a single phase application. Now I'm going to demonstrate an overload trip condition. First, you want to adjust the overload FLA to the lowest allowable setting, being one amp. Now we'll initialize the starter. Within a few minutes, the starter will trip, the fault contact will close, and the fault LED will illuminate. To reset the EMS starter, you must first clear all the faults. To do this, press and hold the off button for five seconds. To prevent any possible motor damage, the EMS calculates a cooldown period, delaying the motor from restarting immediately. And the EMS starter maintains a fault history, recording up to five faults, which is located in the view displays category. Thank you for purchasing our EMS sample package. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us at 1-800-962-3787. Thank you.